Hello! Welcome again, once again, to an all new Let's Play. And we're going to be playing an old SNES game. I bet you don't know what it is yet. We are going to be playing Lester the Unlikely. A rather silly game that I first heard about from an angry video game nerd review. Uh, if you want to read the uh, story, you can go ahead. I'm just going to talk over it. Uh, he gave it a rather, very harsh review, I thought, and I thought it looked pretty neat. You know, it, it, you got the story of this geeky little comic book guy, and he's running around on an island, jumping over evil crabs and turtles, and the animation looked pretty good. Kind of, kind of like that early Prince of Persia with the animations, and climbing up over things. I thought, what the heck? I will find a place to pick this up and give it a try. And I did. And you know what? It It's not that bad. I, I, I don't understand this beef. To, to have a little shortened version of what's going on here. Uh, Lester, I, I guess, has narcolepsy. He, he wandered onto a dock reading a comic book and, and fell asleep next to a cargo lifter and so he, he got picked up on the ship, and I guess nobody noticed the uh, sleeping teenager, and they, they set off, and the ship got attacked by pirates and got scuttled. And so he, he found a life jacket and swam to a nearby island. So he made it to the island. And, oh, where am I? Oh, my arms are tired. And my comic book is a mess. So, now we are in control of Lester. You notice that, yes indeed, he has a terrible walk animation and, and he can kick like a little wuss and he can do the Lester dance. I love doing the Lester dance. But he also, for a nerd, has incredible upper body strength and an iron grip. Scared. Yeah, look at that. I, I couldn't do that. I know a lot of people can't do that. Oh god, it's a crab. Yeah, every time you see a new enemy. Oh, I fucked that up. Oh god, a turtle. Whenever he sees a new enemy for the first time, he will be scared. But then he will face his fears, and here's a... Oh. That is a canteen. Mm. Replaces your health. If he sees a new enemy, he'll run, and now, see, he's fine. Now he can end the turtle appropriately. Mm. Mm. And continue on his journey. Is that there? Not all uh, ledges you can just walk right off of. And do the Lester dance. And, yep. The, the Lester dance is actually the use button. If there's nothing to use, he'll just kind of do the uh, Lester dance and hump the air. But, uh, yeah, I was saying, not all ledges, you can just run right off of some of them. You need to turn around and lower yourself, because it'll be too far of a drop and he'll get hurt. Yeah! I'm just going to teabag this crab here. Oh no, it's spikes! How do we get over the spike? Oh, we just run and jump. Okay, no problem. Yep, okay, time to run and jump this one. Aha! Oh, I screwed that up. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh lordy. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, you see, too high to grab hold of. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yep, we will be using safe states. Oh. I am playing this on an emulator. First time I played it, it was on an SNES card, so, you know, I actually own the game. Oh, I'm surprised I didn't get hurt there. Oh, well. But, yes, I will be using save states for one reason, to show you the comical deaths. And another, just so... Oh. To avoid embarrassing moments like that. Patience is rewarded in this game, I will tell you that. Teabag both of them. Yeah. 
Aha. Another drink. Oh. Excellent. Mm. And, uh, let me see here. Something's coming up that's pretty damn annoying. Let me see here. Alright, where are you at? I know you're coming. Mm. There he is. Yeah, 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 that asshole. Uh, if you don't just run, he will pick you up. To go all the way back here. No. Don't think so. Just run, push the rock, and oh damn, we fell down a cavern. And now we're in a cave. Excellent. Ooh, that was a bad idea. No. Oh no, he's afraid of a ledge. That rock. That's a, that's a wall. I always have a, a little bit of a problem with most of these cave levels. Uh, they're they're kind of maze-like. There we go. Another rock. And some slimy goo. Yeah, the, uh, the, yeah, that's a death trap. The dripping goop right there will actually hurt you. I, I don't know what it is. Maybe this island's nuclear testing. Who knows? Yeah. Look at that grip he has. Ha! Bats! Yes, bats are terrifying! What do we do about bats? We throw rocks at them. And they go away. Give my rock back. Hmm. Ah, damn it. Um. I. Mm. Okay, hmm. don't need to worry about the bats. Then they go up this way. Hmm. Like I said, kind of maze like. Yes, I remember this one. We need to find an item to help get out of this level. I know exactly. Rock. For some reason, you can't carry over rocks. But yeah, we gotta go up this way. Take a quick drink. chest open and grab us a gem. I'd be thinking, oh yeah, let's just jump for the fat loot. Uh, no. But, uh, yeah, there we go, just run off. Yeah, we need this item to open a door to get us out of this level. Uh, screw it, I'll take it. your typical nerd, his arms must be just on fire from all this pulling himself up by now. Mm. Another rock. Get rid of the bats. And put the gem right here. And there you go. Exit out. Ah! This place. Scary cheekies. Ah, uh, damn turtle. Alright. Damn it. Cannot, uh... Mm. Cannot rush this game. Mm. Just run on through it like an idiot. That, uh... That's actually a... False death trap. There's a little cavern down there, but there's absolutely nothing down there. Give lesser shit for being scared. 
Let's do the luster dance with this tiki. And look at it, the eyes are moving. You'd be scared too. Aha! Yes, these tikis. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. He, he's right in being scared about these. Uh, you, you walk on past, and that happens. You get poison darted in the face. So, you just kick them all over, and they explode. And that, that crab, that crab gets me a lot. I had to find the damn mm. sign there and just mm. ends me. Now this little cavern, uh, damn it. Okay, yeah, this little drop here, you actually need to go down and grab this thing. Pedestal. Okay. Uh, Jim needs to go on the pedestal. This is what happens if you don't put it there. You get shot with arrows. So, put it on here. And the magic pedestal tells you that you gave him back his gem, so you need to go find the Chieftain Hector. That's past the haunted burial ground. So. We will do that, but I think this is a good place to stop for today, so we'll just spin around like an idiot in the haunted grave ground. Grave ground. Graveyard. See you next time!